Gandalf, my old friend. This will be a night to remember. Welcome to another episode of P-Dubs Arcade Loft, where we always appreciate it when you hang out upstairs with us. And guess what, guys? Today is a pretty awesome day. Shake off those goosebumps. Hopefully we got you hyped up. It's your community hype man here to talk to you about firmware 4.24.0 coming to you from At Games and also the addition of third-party support applications. That's right, guys. You must update to firmware 4.24.0, and you'll be able to access the very first approved independent third-party application for the Legends Ultimate CoinOps X. So what is CoinOps X? Let's go ahead and click on the application available under our BYOG menu. Let's let that fire up, and keep in mind, I do not have a flash drive plugged into my system. This is actually completely developed, an independent project, by the CoinOps folks over on the CoinOps Discord. And if you guys don't know what CoinOps is, CoinOps is a special theme designed to be used in combination with the Retro FE Graphical Launcher, which is an application program to launch various emulators for retro games and various consoles. It's important to note, guys, that since CoinOps X was created by a third party, you do have to refer to the developer's Discord channel for all support inquiries. And keep in mind, guys, additional third party apps are in At Games approval pipeline and will be announced as they become available. So the question for all of us guys is, well, how does At Games play into this? At Games is providing the user with an alternative blank front end to play your legally licensed titles. A lot of folks have complained in the past about the user interface not looking modern enough. Well, CoinOps X is just one of the many exciting third-party apps the community will be enjoying with the exciting recent breakthrough technology of Add-on X. I myself, like you, was wondering previously, why, why was Add-on X even introduced? Well, now there's a way with Add-on X to run independent third-party software safely and securely and to enable features not previously thought possible. Something that is along the same lines as this uh, thought process is the ID at Xbox program for independent developers. That's right, folks. If you are an independent developer and would like to potentially link your program with At Games, it's a very, very simple process. You can email addonxdev at atgames.net and that is the email address for interested third-party developers to get in touch with At Games. That email is active now and by all means, I would love to see what you could bring to our community. Legally, guys, At Games cannot provide you ROMs that they do not have licenses for, right? And of course, this is a third-party application. But what you can do with it is pretty, pretty slick. When you launch CoinOps X, guys, provided you get everything set up correctly, it's going to look a little something like this. Boom. Now, ain't that pretty, guys? That looks great. That is a beautiful user interface. Really, really like it. And what's really cool is this third-party interface was designed and optimized to run on the At Games Legends Ultimate hardware. So the video snaps, as well as the wheel, everything is working the way it should. And it's really, really cool. Your controls are mapped, all your controls work, rewind, etc., stuff like that. There are a couple of things to note. 
For instance, if your artwork does not match the name of your ROM, instead of showing Space Invaders, like it does right there, um, the line above it, it said Saturday Night. It said Add on Saturday Night. It didn't have the actual logo. So you do have to make sure that the artwork, as well as uh, the ROM names, all match. Now keep in mind, this particular application can get and could possibly and probably will get updated by the developer CoinOps. As of right now, my best suggestion is just to stick with putting your own MAME arcade ROMs and running your arcade ROMs on here. You could probably get the sky's the limit folks, 800, 1000 games, however many you own, you can get them up and running. What's really cool is the interface, as you can see, everything is working. Your trackball, your spinner, your um, scan lines, things of that nature, it's all working. Your controls are working. It's really, really cool. What I love about Add-on X, what I love about CoinOps X, what I love about third-party developers bringing their platforms to the At Games Legends Ultimate and their Add-on X system is the spirit of collaboration. And in the spirit of collaboration, myself, as well as my fellow content creators, the Tech Buzz, as well as Rostalgia, will all be releasing videos today at specific times. This is the first video, introduces you to CoinOpsX, tells you what it is, tells you what it means, why it's legal, all that kind of stuff, and how it's gonna be supported. It does need to be supported by the CoinOps folks over on the CoinOps Discord. At 12 noon Eastern time, my good friend Steven at the, uh, the Tech Buzz will release a video showing you how to get CoinOpsX installed and get it uh, up and running on your system. And then at three o'clock this afternoon, Good old friend Rostalgia, he's going to drop the hammer, baby. He's going to show you how to modify it, add custom artwork, add all that kind of stuff, make it pretty, and how to make it your own. A true collaborative effort between content creators. I will have links to their video descriptions below. Make sure you check them out. Make sure you subscribe to their channels. I appreciate your guys' support as always. As you guys know, I will definitely be dropping some additional videos on this feature in the near future, but I encourage you to check out those other videos. That way you can get this up and running and get it up and running quickly and enjoy it as much as I am. And don't forget guys, with any kind of firmware update, with any kind of new platform or things like that, there might be bugs along the way. For instance, I've noticed sometimes when I'm flipping through the menu, I hear a popping sound from the speakers and things of that nature, but a very infrequent basis. Uh, so definitely, we're gonna have to all work together, see if there's any bugs, report those to the Discord folks, that way they can get this stuff addressed and uh, make sure that it's a fantastic experience. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna see an expanded file system. That way you can get all kinds of console games and all that kind of stuff, all your own games up and running on this as well. Do me a favor guys, hit that subscribe button, leave comments below. Make sure you check out the other videos dropping later today from my friends and let me know what you think so far of CoinOps X. Hopefully I set the stage for you. Hopefully you're getting excited and ready to start playing with this yourself and making it your own. Thanks so much guys and I hope you have a great day.